the incredible Professor Martin Levermore come up to give us the welcome address. Martin, who is the CEO of Medical Devices Technology International, is also the chairman of the Black Internship Program Advisory Group, and he has been integral to the continued success of this program. Please give a huge round of applause as Martin comes to stage. I am very privileged, I say privileged, to be here today amongst you all. One, because I get to see all your gleaming, shining faces and eyes, builds with expectation. Because what I see in this room, and what all of the organizers have been doing, is creating change makers. You are the individuals that are really going to do something to change the way we live on this planet. Somebody once said, what is our data science? What's it all about? And I said, actually, it's about gathering information, making sure we make the best use of that information, but more importantly, how do we improve lives? In the world we live today, we have got turmoil, disease, and a lack of forward understanding. What HDR UK and you and all of those are doing is showing actually how we can all come together for a common goal, which is to basically recognize the disease elements out there and find a way to respond in an effective and proactive way. So I'm privileged. Yesterday I stood with the Vice Chancellor of this university where we unveiled the first black councillor for Burnley. You're in the month of Windrush. Windrush is not about a scandal. Windrush is about a generation of people building, community building, people with an inspired attitude for something better. And I know, standing here, that's the reason we are all in this room, to inspire each other, to use our creative intellect, but more importantly, to know that whatever we do, we will lead for a better generation. So, I'm told there were 97 interns this year, 57 organisations. Remarkable. But what it actually shows that UKPLC is a rich diversity of talents. And we've got a own honest this and take it further, take it out there, back to our countries of birth, which you are the ambassadors. Over 1,600 plus individuals supplied to get it to 97, it shows that you bought your best selves. But I want you to go even beyond that. I want to see your bright eyes, your smiles, your engaged contribution, not only for this short intern period, but beyond. I know from the past interns, they have been what? Talent, what can we say? But in years to come, you're a family of the HDR UK alumni. You have got a very special task, and that's to keep communicating with each other, to build on where you start today, but more importantly, like Faber, to show the broad breadth of your intellect in growing this space called health data science. It isn't going to go away. There's a greater need than ever for health data scientists. 
as we look into healthcare, as we're trying to get more doctors, as we're trying to get more nurses, it is going to be you individuals who are going to help people like me and Louise, who are sitting health providers to make better directors decision for how we will care for our population. So this is not a walk in the park. Forget about the titles. Forget about all of that. Because actually, the only reason I stand here is because we felt this was not a tick box exercise. This is about really doing something that will change lives. Not just yours, but others you will come across down the road. So, Favour, I'm not going to stand in the way of your agenda. <laughs> to the host, thank you very much. Don't, and thank you not just be on, our, be on behalf of ACR UK, and thank you actually on behalf of all these interns, because it is your imagination, your knowledge of what is required, that has actually got you collectively coming around. Faber said, where is it? Future of Health Science, but more inclusively, HDR UK. Please tweet, please go on your social media. What you do today is to attract more individuals to this career opportunity. Ladies, I am blessed be able to look at you all. My mother came in 1954 from Jamaica and she was not allowed to be a registered nurse because she had her first child. Today that has changed. You are the change makers so please let's make that change take place not just now but further in the future. Thank you very much.